Welcome. This question says, what is the equivalent capacitance of this capacitance network? And we can see that it consists of a, a parallel section and also a series section. And as with, with all of these um, types of problems, we, we have to decide where to begin. Do I try to do the series bit before I do the parallel bit, or do I try to do the parallel bit before the series bit? What I see when I look at it is that the two parallel capacitors can be added together to form a single capacitor. And then I'd have a series section of three capacitors. If I try to do the series section first, I'd have a series section, and then I'd have a parallel section, and then I'd have another series section. And so the most efficient way is you do the parallel bit first, and then you do the series bit second. So let's begin by just drawing out this circuit one more time. I always like to do my own diagrams. And then and so here's a junction where the current splits and here's a junction where the current splits and so this is the parallel section and this is 2 farads and this is 4 farads and I'd like to change this so it becomes I'm sorry about my pen's got a mind of its own today so I'd like to change this so that there's a, a resist a capacitor here at the top and then I have my 3 capacitor 3 farads capacitor and my 12 farads capacitor so I'm basically taking these two and combining them to form that one. And how do I do that? Well, I recognize they're in parallel and the principle is that a, a, a capacitor, a net capacitor for a parallel network is equal to C1 plus C2 plus C3 plus C4 plus C5 depending on how many there are. And so I can say that my C parallel is equal to, in this case, it's going to be 2 plus 4, which equals 6 farads. And the way, I mean, I, I know the equation, but the way I remember that is that effectively by connecting these two guys in parallel, I've increased the area of a capacitor without changing its gap. And if I increase the area of the capacitor, because the capacitance is equal to K, A, epsilon naught over D, if I increase the area of the capacitor, my capacitor must be bigger. And so I need to get a bigger number here. Okay, so now I know that this guy here is 6. And what I'd like to do next, let's change color pens. What I'd like to do next is convert this so that I only have one capacitor and so basically I am combining these three guys to make that and how do I do that well the other equation is 1 over C series is equal to 1 over C1 plus 1 over C2 plus 1 over C3 and it goes on as many as I have and in this case, 1 over C series is equal to 1 over 6 plus 1 over 3 plus 1 over 12. Let's get the common base of 12. So that's going to be 2 over 12, same, same value, plus 4 over 12. That's the same value, plus 1 over 12. So that's going to be 2 plus 4 plus 1 makes 7 over 12. And I must not forget to flip. CS is equal to 12 over 7, which equals 1.7 times of 49, 50, 1.7 farads. Um, 7 disappears, yeah. So 1.7 farads. And there we have it. It's, it's the smallest choice is choice A. Um, most common mistakes. Um, 
Well, the most common mistake for people who remember the equations and pretty well know how to begin is that they forget to flip the answer at the very end. They do all this hard work and then they forget to flip the answer at the very end. And that's because most often it's because they're not writing down complete sentences. They're doing the math. And they're doing the math so you get 2 over 12 plus 4 over 12 plus 1 over 12 a equals 7 over 12. But they're not saying explicitly what 7 over 12 is. I'm saying explicitly that 1 over CS equals 7 over 12. So I would argue there's a, there's a much bigger chance that I will understand and recognize and remember that this is 1 over CS. So I'm much more likely to remember to flip the thing to get the true value, which is 12 over 7 as opposed to if I just did the math. So be careful. We really do encourage people to write in complete sentences. So not put down a phrase. A phrase would be 1 over C plus 1 over 2. 1 over C1 plus 1 over C2 plus 1 over C3. That's a phrase. But the sentence is 1 over CS is equal to 1 over C1 plus 1 over C2 plus 1 over C3. It's a complete thought, if you like. And the more you write down complete thoughts, the less mistakes you will make. And yeah, you can you can look at that and say, oh yeah, I just forgot to flip the answer at the end. And that's fine, but it's the wrong answer. And if you keep forgetting to flip the thing at the end, then at some point you have to acknowledge that you're not doing this right. <laughs> and the problem is not your intelligence, and it's not how well you understand the physics, it's that you're not writing these things down in complete sentences. So there's my little lecture on, on uh, exam technique for today, <laughs> and uh, there we have the answer.